It is Tuesday, October 26th, and I am at a client's place in Mesa helping them set up a new HP Pavilion Slimline system. And uh, I am just in the process of removing all the junk software that's on the system. It's got a, it's got a dual core Athlon CPU, 3 gigabytes of RAM. Um, this is what I've removed so far. Trial software, Office, you know, we're just going down the list. I'm removing the HP Advisor also, um, just to check through the computer specs. And the 7 Home Premium, Athlon 2, 2.8 gigahertz, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 64 bit operating system. So that is where I'm at right now. Just de-junking the system, first time setup. Well, I'm wrapping up the de-junking process. Also increased the system form by about 25%. At this point, I am going to be also installing a wireless adapter on the system. And I just picked up a, a G-Link USB wireless and adapter over at the local uh, Office Max. And I will be installing it um, at this point. So here's the little um, extension cable. Here's the actual adapter. And I'll be slapping the CD in there and the drive. So um, I'll be pretty much set. Once uh, the system is installed and ready to go on the wireless, and I'm going to be able to download all the updated security software and uh, Microsoft Office, all the good stuff and then finally move the system out of their uh, living room table and into uh, the client's uh, it's got a little office upstairs. So um, until then. All right, so I just rebooted. And I just cleared off the desktop a little bit, cleaned it up. And I'm going to start the installation of the D-Link USB wireless adapter. So install, typical stuff. And I'll just let this go through. And uh, this little adapter. So once we're all done, we'll be able to plug this little sucker in there to a USB port. So I'm probably going to temporarily plug it into the little USB extension cable and plug this into the front port for now. And once it's once the system's all done and situated upstairs, I'm going to probably plug all this entire uh, assembly into the back of the uh, system. So um, that's where we're at right now. Just finishing off the wireless install. We are now connected to the internet. Look at that, all the blinky lights. So I'm currently uh, hoarding all of the files that I need from the internet, from my website. As you've seen, I download all the necessary files. Now we're taking Office 2003 down, about another 40 minutes on this wireless connection. So it'll be a minute, so I'll just be uh, waiting for that. All right, well, I've got the necessary files downloaded. Um, and what I've done is installed these few items here already. And I'm at the point where I am installing the Office 2003 software. I'm going to run that up. And I've also uh, at the point where I am in, uh, transferring the data from the old computer. Here's the hard drive. Got it plugged in. To the hey, Right, well, I just finished transferring all the data. The local disk H is the drive that I took out from this computer here. It's hooked up uh, via the uh, adapter cables that I have. So that's our drive H, the original old hard drive, right there. And um, transferred all the data to the local hard drive here under the transferred files folder. So that's sitting on the um, on the desktop screen right there. Oh, let's see the brightness. So there it goes. Yep, there it goes. And uh, I also installed Firefox as the default browser. And um, I'm pretty much set. I'm going to hook up or, or disconnect the system and haul it upstairs. I almost forgot here. This client of mine also uses America Online. So um, I'm going to have to install the America Online software on the system so that we can recall her old data that I've just transferred um, here. And you can see um, I made sure I grabbed all the necessary folders uh, with America Online on there. And um, 
I need to install the America Online software, recall all her email files, and I'm recommending that she set up a Gmail account or some other better, more versatile email account um, on here. So um, that's what I'll do. I'm also I'm going to go ahead and just transfer all of her documents in the uh, correct corresponding system folders too. Like for example, all her my documents. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and make sure I stick it into her um, into her uh, documents folder that's in her uh, profile folder. So in the correct locations here. Like for example, her my documents here. Paste that in there, and then just have that done for her. Alrighty. Alright, well I'm shutting down this unit. I'm going to uh, disconnect it and bring it upstairs. But it looks like it's just uh, installing some Windows 7 uh, updates and patches at the moment. So we'll wait for that. But we're all set. Getting ready to pack it up. So we're going to say bye bye to this old computer. Updates are still installing. 11.18, but actually I was just informed that we'll be installing a, uh, a wireless uh, laser printer too. A uh, Samsung laser printer was purchased, and I'm going to get that set up. How fun. Yeah, so look at that. It's a nice little uh, black monochrome laser printer. It's wireless, but of course it gives you all the other connection options for USB or straight Ethernet cable connection too. Got it plugged in. Let's uh, turn around here. Here's the front of the unit. And I'm going to go ahead and do the usual, just standard unpacking steps here. And um, just get it all set up. So it's all fun and good. Alright, so just wanted to show they actually had the, uh, the packing tape going into the toner too, the toner cartridge. So have to peel that off. There we go. Trying to do this with one hand here. And this is what uh, unlocks the the toner. There we go. Look at that. Woohoo! Now we can actually install it in. There we go. Turn on the unit. And I've got to wash my hands. Look at that. Now this particular laser printer, I've realized, since uh, it was a chibi one, it was about 60 bucks, it does not have an LCD panel or anything that you can configure the networking settings like most uh, network printers. So what my assumption is, is that um, the USB cable I went ahead and plugged in uh, that came included actually will need to be inserted into the computer and will rely on the software install process to actually configure the wireless networking settings. Most other more expensive uh, wireless based printers would allow you to dial in and, and connect to the wireless network uh, manually through a console or an LCD screen, but not the case with this one. So here we are. I've got the Samsung disk install uh, inserted and we have our installation screen. Looks like there's a specific option for setting up the wireless. So we'll go through that. And it wants it to connect the USB cable. There we go. And there, I found it. And there's the familiar screens where we can search for the wireless network. So shortly I'll have it connected. Great, so we're looking good. You can see the wireless indicator here is blue, so that's good. And we're just proceeding through the rest of the actual printer driver software install. So that's underway. So I have disconnected the USB cable from the computer and 
at this final stage of the setup is just uh, asking us to do a test uh, print page, a print to test page. So we'll do that right now. And it's being sent. And we're in there. It's revving up. So it's working on wireless. There's a sheet of paper, and there's our confirmation page. And so there's nothing else connected to this printer, just the power cable. And that works. Wireless. We're good to go. Alright, I've got it hooked up. In the proper desk, we're uh, upstairs now. There's a system behind the screen. And I've got the wireless router hooked up there. That's where the mouse is going to be. There's a little setup, there's a keyboard, and so we have a special place for the uh, wireless printer. Well, and um, it's actually pretty close to the computer, so it almost didn't really need to be wireless, but hey, it'd be available for any other network computers. So um, I also have the USB cable plugged into this uh, older HP laser fax scanner printer back there. But uh, everything's looking good. I'm just going to take one more shot of the printer. going to haul that up here really quick and we'd be all set. Okay, well, per the client's request, we're actually going to leave it here on the floor uh, here in the office and plugged into um, a rather shady little um, spr splitter, but it was the only three-pronged adapter that she had available in this room that was extended with an extension cable from the main outlet. So this is where we're going to have it. Of course, it's wireless, so it doesn't need to have anything else plugged directly to the computer. And here's the computer setup again. And um, we're pretty much all set. So that about does it. We uh, unboxed and set up a new slimline HP computer with a new LCD uh, screen. Configured the wireless, get everything, got everything on their, their network, installed all the necessary software, protection software, transferred the files between uh, from the older computer to this computer, and set up a wireless printer. So we're all good. Mission complete.